Hi, is this Timothy? Yep. Hey, Timothy, this is Tommy Bryson. How can I help you? How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. You're, you're cutting out a little bit. You want to get a little closer to the phone? Yeah, give me one second. Sorry about that. Could you hear All me right. now? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. You said you can hear me perfect? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I was just, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, battling social anxiety and while doing YouTube videos as well as uh, growing like YouTube. Okay. Like growing so, your channel and content. Okay, so what, tell me the story. What's going on right now? Okay, so basically growing up, um, I've, I've always played basketball. Um, growing up, uh, <clears throat> getting around a lot of people as far as large groups of people. Say, Let's say I have a friend and they have a bunch of friends. I always find an excuse not to surround myself with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. because I don't feel comfortable. So I always, deep down, find an excuse to avoid those situations instead of facing my fears of social anxiety and just basically speaking in front of a lot of people. Okay. So you have a problem with, with social, like just like um, being around a lot of people and also just speaking in front of people, basically, like in front of crowds? Yes. And how does that relate to YouTube? So basically with YouTube, for me... Um, I just got behind the camera so that I can mm -hmm. get used to speaking in front of the camera because eventually yeah. I want to be able to speak in front of large groups of crowds and help educate them on financial okay. literacy and things of that nature. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you this, okay? Everyone is scared of public speaking, okay? There was a study that was done that people are more likely to be scared of public speaking than they are of actually dying. That's how crazy it is, okay? So... Don't think like you're like the only person. No, people are scared of getting in front of a crowd and having to talk to strangers and hearing them and like look like seeing them look at you weird and stuff like that. It's weird. Now, what I've learned is this: some things in life, the only way to get better at them is by basically putting yourself in that uncomfortable situation over and over and over again. If instead of saying, for example, "Hey, I'm about to be around all these people," I'm gonna be uncomfortable as hell. Instead of looking at it like that and be like, "Hey, you know what? I get to be around these people." And just battle against whatever I have right now and just grow. By the way, okay, what can happen if you're around these people? What, what's like the worst thing that can happen? Think about it. That they'll just be looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. And if you say something stupid, like if people laugh at you, like who are they? Like why does it matter? Exactly. Yeah. So if you're around a lot of people and you're just uncomfortable with it, the answer is you get around a lot more people and eventually you get comfortable with it. However, however though, like um scientifically, what I would want you to do is basically just take a personality test to find out exactly what type of person you are. Like, are you more, for example, an extrovert or more of an introvert? And the idea is if you work within your skills, you should do a lot more better, but you should not be afraid or say like, hey, you know what? I'm an introvert, so I just want to be around myself and just like um, be home all day and stuff like that. That's cool. Like you work best like that, but you also want to put your, if you, if you want to grow and you want to do speeches and talk to people, the only way to do it is, hey, I have to do this over and over again. And by the way, if you're not confident, it usually comes from, hey, I just, I just, I feel uncomfortable because, because basically I don't know enough about something. Like not being confident usually comes from, hey, I don't know enough about this. So if you become very like um, knowledgeable about whatever you want to mm -hmm. talk about and you practice over and over again in that mirror or to your mom or to your dad, your brother, your friend, whoever, your cat, your, I don't care. But if you practice over and over again, yet you build confidence. When you go out there and you do it, it'll be a lot more easier. And the more you do it, the better it'll get. Definitely. I, I definitely definitely agree with you because that's what I've been doing uh, with my YouTube as well, being in front of the camera and speaking. Not It's not a mirror, but I can mm -hmm. see myself and it's me practicing and building that repetition because I still struggle with that as well. What's your channel about? Uh, same as yours. Financial See, literacy, um, educating people on self growth, uh, self love. What's the name? What's nature. the name? It's Timothy Williams Jr. Timothy Williams Jr. So you talk. I'm, I'm guessing you have like a little mix of motivation and also like financial information in there. Yes, I like my latest video is actually a finance. It's a uh, motivational video. Okay, so let me tell you um, a, a little advice from someone that failed at YouTube for the past like 11 years. Right, the advice okay. is this. Whenever you do YouTube, it's kind of like like um, like real TV, right? Like real TV with real channels, right? Every channel is just like one channel. 
if you go to, for example, for, to Cartoon Network, like on cable, and you go there and you see the news there, you're not going to be happy, right? Because you expect to see cartoons there and all that stuff. Same thing with YouTube. If you want to have, for example, a motivational channel, awesome. Have that separate. If you want to have a financial channel, all right, awesome. Have that separate. You want to keep both things separate because those are two very different things. Although they might seem like, hey, motivation and money, they're kind of like the same thing. Yeah, they are. But usually the people that are looking for motivation aren't always looking for money advice. So as far as like channel wise, I would say, hey, make one channel for motivation and one channel only for money. Okay. And how many subscribers do you have right now? 359. Three, how long have you been doing it for? Since April. Well, I started the YouTube in April, and I just built up the courage and finally did my first video in August. In August? So how many videos have you posted right now? Uh, About 13, I think. 13 videos in almost... Yep. We're, we're about to be in a year, right? It's almost a year. Yep. All right. So what do you do for work? Right now, I have my CDL. I drive for Pepsi, and I have a logistics company as well. Okay. And let me ask you a question. If YouTube pops off, would you want that to be like your mainstream of income, or would you want to keep doing what you're doing because you like it and you and you enjoy it? You want to do both, or you want to do one? What do you want to do? I want to do YouTube. Okay. Now, again, let me also give you advice from someone that you know now is doing okay with YouTube. The key is volume and the quality. So if you want to be very good at YouTube and you want to like have some growth, the answer is for the first like 11 years, the furthest I ever got was 2,000 subscribers. That's, that's it, 2,000. But mm. when I started to implement, for example, hey, this channel is just about this one thing, and I started posting, for example, every single day, that would change everything. On top of that, also learning about something every single day to actually give people value, that's the main key when it comes to YouTube. Definitely. And, I, and the, I see that in your channel. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Timothy. This is your time. I, I, okay, yeah, I like I like watch your videos every day. I've been mm -hmm. following you for years. So honestly, the motivation motivational video that I did actually, I watched a video of yours a long time ago. You did a, a motivational video, and yeah. it was basically like a bunch of skip throughs. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I think yeah. Was that the one with the when I'm walking through the forest or the one I'm like at home? Like in a room or something like that. <laughs> the one you're in the room. Yeah, yeah, I remember that video. Yeah, back th that's, again, look at the time in that video, right? That was a long time. Back then, I had less than 2,000 subscribers, right? If I really wanted, again, you know, back then, I was tasting things, and I did not know what I know now. So that's why I was trying. If you were here since, for example, 2015, I was making videos about everything. Like, you had drama, you had gaming, you had a bunch of things, and it just didn't work because you have to have separate channels for everything. And you have to kind of devote yourself to one thing until it kind of like pops off. Definitely. Now, by the way, financially, financially right now, because you do have, for example, your own business. You also drive for Petsy. Um, do you have any debt right now? No, I'm debt debt free. Debt free. And do you do you have a house? No, I'm renting right now. I'm actually I live in Michigan and my girlfriend and I are going to relocate to Houston. So Houston, you have a job set up already? No, I'm just going to run my business and honestly focus on YouTube. I know I'm still fresh in the game, but. How much does your business make? How much money does your business make? It's a six figure business. So six figure. Well, is that well, net yep, six I, figure business? Ten, about 10,000 a month. That's net? their expenses. Okay, awesome. And you can run that from anywhere? Yes. That's awesome, man. So man, why why in your channel do you talk about that business? No, I haven't really no, I haven't really dived into the business. Why not? I honestly I, I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean one thing is like my, my first videos were just about, for example, like flipping phones, like going into businesses, starting businesses, because I was doing all that stuff, you know. But if you're right now having based at ten thousand dollars a month, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year business, like that's a lot of value you could potentially give to people. That makes for a great story. No, definitely. I was honestly, I was, I've been thinking about doing it, and I was gonna do a training course on it to teach people how to to get into the game as well. I just awesome haven't Sweet. focused in on it. I'll give you some advice, right? And I stole this from Gary Vee. 
as far as courses, if you notice, I don't have any, but I'm working on some. But always, as far as this is what I do, right? I, I give all my best content for free. I don't care. But if I want to make a course, it's not like, hey, oh my gosh, like there's extra content here. It's more like, hey, you have everything put together in one easy way to consume. So it's kind of like you get access to that. You're buying the access to have everything put together, but it's still the same information you can find on YouTube channel. So basically, you got to give your best value for free. Help people for free. And if they want to go even further, have them buy your course. But be very careful because YouTube, again, is great for money, but it's not that great when you only want money. Does that make sense? Definitely. No, definitely. I <laughs> definitely agree with that. Uh, and by the way, what, what's the plan with your girlfriend? You guys getting married? Honestly, that's crazy you asked that. I'm proposing. This isn't going to be... Is this going to be live? Like, is it going to go right. on the internet? All right, so this this video is going to be posted to YouTube, but not, not like, for a while. And, I'm, and I doubt your okay. girlfriend is, right. like, watching my channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to propose, actually, next month. Next month. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. You bought the ring already? Yes, sir. And I seen, I got a little motivation from you as well. I think you you uh, proposed as well. Yeah, that's awesome, man. How, how much was the ring? How do you get it? So I, I bought it. It was the 26 Five, so twenty six, twenty six hundred. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good 000. price. That's a good price. I, I was like, oh wow, that's, that's a lot of money there, bro. That's a lot of no, money. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Timothy, relax, man. I, I thought you watched my videos. <laughs> yeah, twenty six hundred dollars. You guys are moving over at Houston, right? Yes, sir. And you guys are probably gonna, you gonna you gonna buy a house down there. We're gonna rent uh, six months, check it out, and see how much we like it before making plan. that big step. That's a good plan. One tip is this, okay, when you when you are, for example, okay, it's been a year, you guys like it, she likes it, you guys are married, whatever, and then you want to, like, buy a home, just make sure, since you, you, you probably are a business star, because you have, like, a channel and you have everything going on, just make sure, you're making so much money, man, $10,000 a month is a lot of money, okay? Just make sure the house you buy is no more than 33% of your monthly income, including, for example, like, the mortgage, the taxes, insurance, HOA fee, maintenance. If it's not over 30% on a 15-year mortgage, that way, your first thing is, if I, if my name is Timothy, and what I want to do is eventually, hey, I I make a lot of money, yes, but I want to do YouTube full time. I want to make sure I have a foundation set. So if I buy a house that's good to go and a 15 year mortgage and I paid off, for example, with my income in maybe seven to five years, I have my own home and I have for them my investments also. Then my living costs are so minimal to the point where I can stop working as much as I am and focus more on YouTube and making content every single day. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. But don't wait until like five years to like make YouTube videos. Like I recommend you make videos every single day, or at least like three times a week, starting like today. Yes, I've been I've been working to get more consistent. I'm just fighting that courage to be in front of the camera. It's, I mean, it's still a struggle, but I'm fighting toward. The only way to do it is just to get in front of the camera every day. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. If you watch my first videos, they suck. <laughs> yeah, your first videos are gonna suck too. Everybody's first videos, they all suck. So just like keep going out and like just focus on I'm making this video. A, I want to get better. B, I want to help someone. C, I am going to keep growing. That's that's the idea. But don't focus on, oh, my gosh, what what is my auntie going to think about me? Do I sound weird in this video? Is my voice too giggly? You know, don't worry about that. Definitely. That's that's great advice. Do, and I, I'm, I have a question for you as well. You have 30 minutes, bro. You have all the questions you want. Okay, perfect. So my this is my plan right now with my channel. So my focus is to do two videos a week. One video for myself, educating everyone on different things, whether it be business, investing, or anything like that. And then also another mm -hmm. uh, video for the week. I'm interviewing bi different business owners to educate people that want to get into whatever field that business owner is in mm -hmm. and also to connect with them and grow their business also just so i can get their audience to pull into my videos mm -hmm. business owners one thing about them is usually they don't they don't if you're talking about like online business owners they might have an audience but real life business owners usually don't really have like a social media audience sometimes right and okay so the two videos a week on education and learning something i like that a lot why because it's something you can do and it's in your power however you can't always depend on someone to come, for example, on the channel to like talk to you and so on. If you can't get someone one week, do you not post that week? So 
for me, at least if you notice, like I post every day on my main channel, that's all me, right? It's all, I don't need anyone, that's all me. Like just Danny to edit the videos because I have an editor now, Danny's like does great work. But aside from that, that's all me. The second channel with the reaction, that's all me. And now this channel, I'm taking calls from you guys, but that's basically like, if no one calls, like what do I do? You know, like there's no content. But even then, I can just say, hey, um, I ask questions and this is the question I want to answer. My point is this, okay, be careful creating something that is basically only works when somebody else is willing to give you your time. Their time, I mean. Does that make sense? Definitely. Yeah. So I would do for sure those two videos a week on education. The business ones, those sound, like, those sound really cool, honestly. Like I would watch those videos too, like just talking to like um, business owners, how they got there and so on. If you can get someone every now and then, great. If you can't, that's fine. And even then, okay, that sounds like a podcast channel, honestly. Kind of like the one that Graham something has going on, like the whole like um, coffee hour thing. Yeah, that's and that's what a lot of people, when I tell them I want them to get on my channel, they always mention podcasts. And I'm like, no, it's not a podcast. It sounds like a podcast, though. That, that should tell you that this should be a hint, right? It's a hint that people think it's a podcast. It's probably a podcast. You know what I mean? So, right, you no, can, yeah, you can probably make a channel about that, too. Like, make a separate channel, whatever name it is, podcast, and you like get people on the phone. Just make sure you have a lot of questions. And by the way, that's also one way to battle against your social anxiety because basically you're talking to someone over a 30 to an hour like conversation and you're asking them questions. By the way, a great book on talking to people is called How to Influence and Win Friends. I think it's How to Influence People and Win Friends by Dale Carnegie. Yeah, that's the book right there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. How to Win Friends. And Influence People by Dale Carnegie. That's a book that actually Warren Buffett read to become, in a way, Warren Buffett with uh, like how he talks and everything like that. Well, yeah, Def I love reading books, so I'm definitely going to check that out. All right, brother. you have any more questions? Um, So, thumbnails. <laughs> yes, yes, thumbnails. Oh, yeah. What about them? Yeah, you for sure came a long way. I'm telling you, I've been following you for years. Any advice you have for as far as thumbnails? People, okay, all right. People hate thumbnails that make them click, but ignore thumbnails that don't make them click. You can't make people happy with this stuff. If you notice, Graham Stephan, his thumbnails are like out of proportion these days. Like they're crazy, okay? But people click on those videos. With my channel, my thumbnails now, Danny makes them, which is better than me at doing it. But the whole idea is what I do with thumbnails is transparent. I look up the video I'm going to make, right? And whatever pops up, I look at, for example, the number one video, number two, number three, I see their thumbnails and I basically say, hey, what can I add to that thumbnail to make it better, right? So if I want to say, hey, how to make money online, all right? It pops up all the videos on that topic. I see the best thumbnails on it and I recreate a thumbnail with my face, obviously, and with some added value to it. Don't just copy people's stuff. That's not funny. Don't copy people's stuff. Although I did that in the beginning, but don't do that. It's not a good idea. And then you basically go based on that. And that's how you make a good thumbnail. So just like look at what other people did and use that as a, as a template for what you can do. You just answered about five, five questions in one. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That's the goal, man. Answer questions you didn't even ask yet. <laughs> yeah. Cause it was basically going to ask as far as like, cause I see your content. You do some like you do similar videos, but yours are better, better a lot of times. Similar videos, yeah, yeah. Listen, one thing is this, okay? Oh, okay, another thing, okay, another. Tell me, how do I get ideas for a video, right? Because that's also like a big thing. How can you make a video every single day? It's crazy, it's insane. Like you have a, like a robot. No, um, the truth is this, okay? When it comes to making videos every single day, I look up on people's channels the most popular videos, and I don't watch them. Don't watch them because you'll copy what they say. Don't do that. You look at the title, look at the thumbnail and say, okay, if it's, for example, something on money or whatever, okay, how can I make this video and do more and just add more to it, okay? Like the scientific method. It's not about making the video longer. It's more about like, hey, how can I add more value to this video? Usually, I click the video, I pause it, I don't watch it. I go down, to, for example, to the comments down below. I see what people say, hey, you missed this topic. What about this? What about this? And what I do is I make a list of all those questions, every single one of them, and I make sure to answer them in my video. 
I love that. I love that idea. That's that that helps a lot. Yeah, and because there are, for example, tens of thousands of videos online, you'll never run out of ideas. But you will have to keep learning and researching. So you're not, you don't want to be the guy that I, I, there was an issue where someone basically like saw my video, copied it word for word, and made a video with my whole script. You don't want to be that 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 type of person. But you want to be able to be hey. Okay, time made this video. What did he miss here? What do people want from this? And just basically make a video better than mine. That, that's what you always want to do. Perfect. I love that idea. And that gives me confidence to keep making videos because I had the idea of, I want to make a video no one has made, but obviously that, that's not. <laughs> it's impossible, man. Every video has been made. Every video has been made. Every single video exactly. has been made. But hey, there's only one video with um, Timothy on it. Okay, and there's only one video with Timothy's story on it. That's why when you get, for example, posting content about your business, your experiences, for example, hey, and just always make sure to like be yourself and be authentic. Like, hey, here's a story about this with my fiance, or maybe my dad, whatever it is, okay? Like how you got to where you were. You wanna, there's so many channels out there, but you wanna make sure people come to watch you. Not just, for example, like the content, that's great, but people wanna also watch you and hear about what you've been through also. So it's a, it's a big part of it. Perfect. Uh, and what do you, how do you think, okay, so with the proposal for my girlfriend and everything, I was thinking about um, recording everything. Oh, so yeah? basically, she's done a, she's doing a surprise birthday for me, and I'm actually going to surprise her. That is going to be insane. <laughs> it, yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's like our family, all of our family and friends are going to be there, so it's going to be perfect. And but I wanted it, to document everything. Go ahead. Is, every, is everyone going to be a part of it? Is she going to be like the only one in the unknown? Yes. Okay, that sounds. Listen, man. Um, one thing I've learned is this: the way I did with my fiance, like she liked it, she loved it. Um, but make sure whatever you do, do is something that you know for a fact she'll like, because sometimes you might do something that, that's way too big, and she might want something, for example, that's way smaller, just between you guys. So just make sure, like, is this something my fi and you know her more than anyone else, right? Mm -hmm. Is this something that she would like? The whole family is there. We're there. She's expecting something else. Big surprise. She's probably gonna start crying. Like whatever, but just make sure she actually wants that. If she wants it, then you have the, the green light from me. Yeah, she she's gonna love it. It's gonna be yeah. She's and, you wanna, it, and, you, and a video, correct. just just make sure with the video, like um, you have somebody else doing that. You don't want to be the guy with the phone and the ring and then, you know, <laughs> just have somebody else do it. Definitely, I just didn't know. I I wanted to get views and get recognition. That's why my goal was to put it on my channel. But from the beginning of the conversation with you and I, it doesn't make sense because I have a financial. Yeah, channel. it's a finance channel. That's my goal. It's it's like let me tell okay, let me tell you something. Every every platform is different, right? There 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 are no views recognition when it comes to like you're you're doing that. Just to clarify that, you're you're marrying your your you're gonna propose because you love this girl. You you love her, right? So the idea is if you do want to do the whole proposal thing and you want to record it, that's there's nothing wrong with that because that's a memory for you guys. If you want to post it, for example, on Instagram or Facebook or or TikTok, whatever, that's fine. But YouTube also, if you want to, for maybe like another video or whatever, like, hey guys, okay, here's 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 an idea. Hey guys, here's how much money I spent on my ring and how I did it and how I'm gonna save money on my wedding, right? That's awesome, right? So it's a topic that's based on finance also. You can include your video also just for you and stuff like that. So you actually enjoy what you're doing. But there's always a way to incorporate what you like into what you do. So all right, I wanna show my wedding because I wanna show my subscribers that stuff because I'm I'm happy about it. I wanna show off, obviously. But how do I make it so it gives them value? Like the whole thing where how much money did it cost me to make the ring? That was also for me to show people, hey, guys, I got I got to engage all this stuff. Isn't this cool? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just, more, just, I like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it'll be cool, too, because you can she can have that video and all that stuff. But, but as far as like just posting a whole video on YouTube for that stuff, it's probably like more for you. If you want to do it on Instagram or Facebook, that's fine. But but YouTube is more like, you know, like you have a, a finance channel. So. It should be finance related, so just make it finance related in some way. And there's always something to be related to money, especially with an engagement or a wedding. Definitely. That's okay, that's perfect. That gives me a great idea of how I wanna set up the video and everything. All right. Awesome, Timothy. And then uh I know we well, we got a couple more minutes. Yeah. Uh probably one last question for you. Yeah, go ahead. How, as far as watch hours, man, it's kinda discouraging. Like I have 359 subscribers and my watch hours are not even at 300 like yeah. people aren't watching the whole video yeah so the okay what videos do you watch 
what movies do you watch? Movies you enjoy, right? The only way to have somebody watch your content all the way through is if you're basically George Lucas or something like that, like like maybe Star Wars or whatever, right? It's impossible on YouTube. People have like very short like um attention span. It's not gonna happen. Usually, you might get someone watching like five to seven to eight minutes max, maybe ten minutes, but you're never gonna get watch the whole video. Now remember what I told you in the beginning of the video when I said, hey, YouTube is great for money, but it's not great if all you want is money. Monetization is cool. But as long as you're making, for example, good content, great content, eventually it's going to happen for you. So just focus on one thing. I'm going to make content three or every single day. That's it. I'm going to give people value. Eventually it'll work out. It'll pick up. But if you just focus on the money, you'll lose your mind making content and getting, for example, 10 views or 50 views. Definitely. That's, yep, for sure. <laughs> you, you, you're dropping gems, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Cause I'm you, man. I, I'm I'm you, but like um, when when okay, so when I was you, I definitely did not have what you have. But it's the same situation, okay. Even I back then, I was frustrated because basically I want to make money from YouTube. Oh my gosh, what's going on? But once you focus on hey, just giving value, like the money thing is gonna work out. If you do something like good and you become the best at it, it's gonna work out. Money's gonna come to you. And by the way, you don't even need money because you have, for example, like enjoy what you're doing. Like just in like the money part, you make money from your business. As far as YouTube, you're in a good position where, hey, I make money. I can do this and enjoy it fully. Definitely. I don't have to. I'm not struggling to do it because I have other income. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And when YouTube starts popping up for you, then, then great. You can stop that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But as far as not, just like enjoy the process. Just enjoy making content. When you make a lot of money on YouTube, because it'll happen eventually if you get really good at it. It won't really matter because money is cool, but only for the things you can do. Definitely. You're an inspiration, man. I really appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Well, Timothy, this has been a nice call. If you do want to step on another call or call me maybe like um in three months from now when you have a lot of content on. By the way, shout out your channel so people know what, like where, where to go follow you and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Follow me on Instagram at Timothy Williams Jr. Zero. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Timothy Williams Jr. Um, and yeah, that's about it. How Stay often will you be posting? How often will you be posting? Two times a week. Um, eventually, I'll get to every day. Eventually, one day, just like you. <laughs> okay, awesome, man. All right, Timothy, have fun with it, okay? Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, peace out. All right, guys, so that right there was, um, was Timothy. And the big issue is, hey, Tommy, I want to start with YouTube. I don't know how to get started. Oh, my gosh. And the whole idea is, oh, my God, I'm not monetized yet. But what about this? What about that? The answer is Timothy is in a great position. Timothy makes six figures a year, is about to be like have like his old fiance, get married potentially, maybe buy a house in the future. That's awesome. YouTube is awesome, too. If you want to do YouTube, my advice is always the same. Make sure you enjoy it. YouTube is great for money, but not if all you want is money. Making over 2,000 videos on YouTube without making a single dollar to now making content, making money, you won't be able to last that long if you don't enjoy what you're doing. And also, make sure to research everything about something. That way, you become the best at it, okay? That's the whole idea. Money will follow if you become the best at whatever you do. That's the whole concept. By the way, Timothy, great conversation. And by the way, guys, if you guys want to join me on my next call, well, go down below, sign up now. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. And if you want to text me anytime, join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch another call, here it is right here. And click my page right here. And as always, peace.